Hi, um, today I'm going to talk about um, how I plan um, my travel, um, my next destination, uh, which is uh, Panama and Cuba so far uh, for 100%, but probably much more countries. Um, how I plan that, I will explain this in this video. So what is my plan? Well, um, I'm 53 now and within I think about seven years I'm going to retire so I want to discover the world looking for a place to retire and to stay there. So the, the biggest reason why I'm doing this trip is I think Panama might be a very interesting country to live in when you retire. So I want to get used to um, living in another country because I've never done that besides uh, a few months in London, but that's not comparable. So um, yeah, the first option is Panama. Second, I do have my boyfriend living in Cuba. So that's much closer than uh, traveling from Belgium to Cuba. So that's one of the reasons as well. I know him for three years now, so I think it's quite a sturdy relationship. Um, and then uh, also, um, I love theme parks and I love to travel to Florida and when living in Panama it will be much closer as well. So that's also one of the reasons. There are other options for me to retire like Spain or um, more uh, countries in Europe but it doesn't interest me that much because although Belgian people are very nice people <laughs> I don't want to wake up in the morning and my neighbors being um, Belgian or at least uh, uh, speaks uh, Flemish as well because then probably it's going to give me a feeling like I'm home and many uh, Belgian people that retire are usually traveling to Spain because it's a very good country there to live there's a lot of more sun um, and it's cheaper than Belgium but I prefer to go further away and um, it has to be somewhere, even although I am retired, where I can uh, discover much more like the neighboring countries, uh, Colombia, Peru, uh, Nicaragua, uh, Costa Rica and what else. Um, it probably sounds like a contradiction that although I travel and I want to discover that I do plan as well. Um, one of the reasons why I do plan is first of all, it gives me a security. Uh, it feels more safe. It's like um, a backup plan, if you want. Of course, I mean, uh, preparing uh, for me is more or less like, okay, my flight tickets, of course I need them. Uh, and then once I arrive in Panama, at least I need to book a few nights and then uh, try to figure out uh, when I'm there, what's next. But still, um, uh, this is a travel for a much longer time than usually, at least three months, I hope much longer. Um, so I need to look for places where I can live on the cheap. And it has to be um, interesting, you know, as a, as a point where I can start to discover uh, all over Panama. Um, so that's also why I want to uh, prepare a lot of my stuff before I leave. Another way uh, how I prepare my travels is I watch a lot of um, travel vlogs on YouTube. Some are very interesting to follow. Of course, I um, uh, investigate in uh, videos about Panama, uh, where to go, what you can do, how it is to live. Um, that kind of stuff, but also um, the way other people make their videos, that might be interesting for me as well. Because so far, um, two years ago with my niece, we went to Florida and I made a vlog about that. Um, people are watching it, but I think uh, it probably needs a lot more. Because in those videos before and my other videos where I, I have a few videos as well about Cuba, and they're filmed like in a, which I call a passive way. I mean, I film panoramics, um, I edit them, paste them all together and then put some music on it. But 
people don't keep watching until the end. So I have to figure out a way how I can attract people to keep watching until the end. So that's also one of the reasons why I uh, follow uh, vloggers on YouTube. How long am I going to travel? Well, that's a difficult question because I bought a flight ticket to leave on September 1st to Panama and return ticket as well, uh, returning uh, December 15th. But it doesn't mean that I'm going to return on the 15th of December. It depends on um, my budget. Um, and second, how much I enjoy myself. I mean, if I don't like it and, it, you know, the whole experience is just meh, then I'm probably going to come back to Belgium. Or I might come back anyway on, the, on uh, December 15th um, to decide if I want to do another part and, you know, and go to Asia instead of uh, Central America. That might be a, a, a another reason why I would come back or I stay in Panama or at least around Panama for another three to six uh, months. The total amount of months that I would be able to travel is about a year. Um, but I'm a little afraid that halfway I'm going to have to come back uh, back to Belgium. Uh, I don't know uh, the reason why, but it feels like six months is already going to be a very very long time so yeah but uh, let's see what happens on the other hand if my channel becomes very successful and i make some money uh, through patreon or through uh, youtube as well uh, i might stay a much longer time and make much more videos uh, so yeah who knows um my bucket list for this year i mean if if I'm not depending on the money, then I have like a long list that I want to do. But all my travels that I'm going to do in September are going to depend on the money I have with me, how much money I can make out of uh, selling the apartment and all that stuff. So yeah, it's quite unpredictable. But I think I have like two ways how I'm uh, going to manage uh, traveling many countries first of course i'm gonna have my savings with me uh, but second i think many of the other countries around uh, panama are probably going to do them like uh, last minute i mean if i can find a, a cheap flight uh, to costa rica uh, then of course i'm leaving uh, panama for a few days or maybe a month i don't know and just go to to uh, costa rica and discover that country but um, my bucket list i mean if i would have all the money to do it it would be Panama, Cuba, of course, because my boyfriend lives there. So those two are the certainties. And then Colombia is on my list. Uh, Peru is on my list. Uh, Costa Rica is on my list. Um, probably some of the little islands around like Tobago and Trinidad uh, might be on the list. Um, Nicaragua might be on the list, Paraguay might be on the list. Um, I've been to Brazil before, but you know, if I can find a cheap ticket, I might go back to Brazil. So the list is quite long. And another option uh, where I'm thinking about is there are a few countries uh, that I want to revisit uh, in Asia, which uh, one of them is Singapore, because it's very interesting to document over there. Um, want to go to Dubai to see the World Expo because I think it's going to be very interesting over there to you know document uh, the World Expo. Um, maybe Malaysia because there's a lot to do over there and I can I forgot I think I can stay there uh, with my European passport for three months minimum maybe to six months I think. Um, maybe doing Japan again because uh, I've been to Tokyo and Kyoto, but I was there way too short. I have to stay there a, a lot longer. So yeah, this series um, this year will be um, very interesting. So please keep watching. What about the two certainties? I mean, Panama and Cuba. Do I have plans for those countries? Of course I do. In um, 
Panama, uh, first of all, I want to visit uh, everything around uh, Panama City. And then uh, probably like the second month or the second part of uh, my uh, uh, travel in, in Panama is going to be David, uh, where I can visit David and Boquete. And then uh, the third part would be around Bocas del Toro. I want to go there as well because um, it looks amazing over there. So I want to document it. Just remember, although I'm going to uh, Panama to retire, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to do anything over there. Um, it's going to be partly a holiday as well. So, you know, it's, it's, I, I want to make videos that are hopefully uh, quite interesting to follow. So, yeah. And then um, in Cuba, um, I'm thinking of doing a tour this time because the last uh, two travels uh, were Havana and then I went to San Fuegos, but we stayed there local. So I only did, no, we did Trinidad, um, uh, San Fuegos and Havana in three weeks, but that's very short. But this time when I go to Havana, uh, I mean uh, Cuba, I want to stay there for a month. And in a month, I want to try to do a tour around the country. Um, yeah, so you know, I'm gonna end up in San Fuegos again and in Trinidad again, because the last time we went, we were there, uh, I didn't document enough. So this time, you know, I want to document everything I see, uh, whatever that happens over there. So yeah, um, some cities in in Cuba are, of course, Havana. Uh, then uh, traveling to Matanzas, uh, Varadero, uh, Sancti Spiriti or Sancti Spiritus, Sin Fuegos, Trinidad, uh, Valle de los Ingenios, again, Tope de Colantes, again. Uh, they're nature reserves, but they're very, very interesting to travel and very interesting to document. Um, at, while I was in Belgium, I discovered a few uh, very interesting places to go there. Uh, they're probably not very well documented, so, uh, you know, um, <laughs> I'm going to try to document it for you uh, and of course um, for myself as well. <laughs> How do I find cheap uh, flight tickets? Um, a few months ago, for example, I bought a ticket from, um, it's not Brussels, from Paris to um, Orlando MCO uh, airport and I paid only like 260 euros um, two ways. So coming back as well while the average price is around 460, 560. Um, it's actually very easy. The only thing I use is uh, Google Flights. It's uh, the most interesting part about uh, Google Flights is the fact that you can put in your dates when you want to travel and a starting point. And once you hit enter, it will show you all the prices from uh, the airport where you want to leave to wherever you want to go um, in the world. So you, you know, you can pick out uh, the location where you want to go or even the price you want to go. And then once you click on them, you, you can get uh, much more um, in-depth information about maybe leaving the day before it might be a bit cheaper or two days later and so on so, and so on. What I always do, is to try to compare with other sites like Momondo. Um, but most of the times Google Flights is first the easiest way to, to, um, to look for, for um, cheap tickets. And second, um, they will offer all other comparing uh, websites as well, uh, prices from them. So I don't think there's another reason why you should use something else. That's my idea. Um, <laughs> one of the um, things I do too much is um, buying stuff like um, things um, like mosquito uh, tablets or um, sun sprays or yeah, a lot of uh, things that I probably gonna find in Panama as well or you know in other countries as well. But for some reason, <laughs> I just need to take it all with me before I leave and then, uh, you know, if, if, 
if I run out of sunscreen, I'm probably going to find them over there. But it's like, I think many things I can find here cheap. Uh, but that's not always the truth, you know. Some things are probably going to be much more, uh, uh, much cheaper in Panama to buy than over here. Uh, yeah, but still, um, there is stuff that I for sure need. Like uh, I'm going to edit all my videos, um, so I need a laptop which is lightweight, which is affordable, uh, which is durable. So all that kind of stuff um, I do, I do need to figure out here before I leave and yeah, I'm gonna see what happens over there, uh, you know, if it breaks, I hope not. Um, yeah, we are at the end of this video. Um, again, I think it was a very short one, but uh, I only wanna say the things that I need to say. I don't wanna extend the video with a, a lot of blah, blah, blah that has no, um, meaning you know um, next week um, I'm going to give you like my top 10 of applications that I'm going to use on my mobile phone especially for traveling or especially while traveling so um, watch out for that one see you next week bye